You are going to have a lot of fun today. This is a red letter day. Why? Well, today is day number 250, and we are rocking it, man. We've been here 250 days since the beginning of coronavirus quarantine, and this is our big grand celebration. So welcome to day 250. You'll notice that there are other people on screen with me. We have four amazing artists. Say hi, everybody. Hi there. All right, so through the magic of technology, uh, we have four artists and we're gonna pit these four artists together in the battle of the mediums. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have these four artists battling out with one image. I've given each of them uh, an image, which is this reference photo. And each of them is gonna do a painting of this in this hour. And uh, you're gonna get to watch them all simultaneously. And then you are going to get to pick the winner as we get towards the end. Now, uh, we have allowed these people to cheat. <laughs> They're allowed to break all the rules. They might be sneaky. You're just going to have to find out. So first, I'm going to uh, introduce you to, to each of our people. So first, we have Birgit O'Connor. Uh, Birgit O'Connor is a watercolorist, and you can see that she does amazing work. And uh, so you're going to get to meet her right now. Birgit, welcome. Hi, Eric. Thank you for inviting me. Tell everybody where you're living. I live in Bolinas, a little bit north of San Francisco. All right, terrific. And uh, are, are are you cheating today? Well, what I had to do, because I didn't know how this was going to go, all I did was get the sky in, but I'm going to show them how to do it and then go from there. Okay, all right, terrific. Yes. Next, we have Tiffany Mang. Tiffany is coming to us from, let's see, where are you, uh, Tiffany? Uh, I'm from San Diego, California. All right, and look at Tiffany's work. She's representing gouache and look what such beautiful light. And uh, so Tiffany's going to be painting in gouache today. All right, gouache. I'm already give, getting a hard time in the comments from uh, where's acrylic. So <laughs> uh, shame on me. If somebody wants to jump on with acrylic real quickly, we'll, we'll put you on, but I'm not sure how we could possibly pull that off. Okay, next we have... Uh, because uh, I'm a gentleman, ladies first. Uh, we have Shelby Keefe. Shelby is uh, 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 an oil color painter, does a lot of architecture work, and uh, does beautiful paintings. Welcome, Shelby. And where are you coming in Thanks. from? Thanks a lot for having me. I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yay, Milwaukee. <laughs> okay, last but certainly not least, uh, we had to put one guy on just to make things equal. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, we have Greg Barnes representing pastel, and you can see that Greg is a fabulous pastel artist. And so, Greg, welcome today. Uh, thank you, Eric. Great and to be you here. Are, you're on the other side of the country. Is that right? Yeah, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right. Beautiful you have Charlotte. an advantage because the people in the West Coast had to get up early. Right. Yeah. They're not, they even, they haven't even had their coffee yet. Oh, no, yeah. no. All right. So, uh, so anyway, the way we're going to do this is uh, we're going to put all of these people on camera doing their paintings and we're going to let you uh, make comments. You guys can encourage them in the comments. And then as we get towards the end, we're going to ask you all to vote and don't vote yet. You can make comments, but not until we say officially vote, and then you're going to vote, and then we will have a special guest who is tabulating the votes and coming on, and uh, we'll announce the winner. And we actually have prizes, prizes for all of our winners uh, and, and for all of our runners up. So, yay! You, you might not want to applaud yet, Tiffany, because you don't know what the prizes huh? are. They might be rather embarrassing. I'm just saying. <laughs> It could be. Anything is possible here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop you guys off camera now for a second, and then uh, we'll bring you back in just a minute as you set up your cameras. And so uh, hang in there, and we will have you right back. Well, well, who knew? Who knew that we would be here in day number 250? 250 days in a row. So this all started out... Um, it, in terms of coronavirus, 
we all got together in my group, Streamline Art. We, we sat around, we thought, what can we do to survive? And what can we do to help everybody through this? So one week into the quarantine, we came up with this idea. We'll go on daily, twice daily. So since the beginning of coronavirus, 250 days ago, we have been giving you daily videos in two different ways. I've been on here every day at 12 noon, all through it, seven days a week, until the last two or three weeks when I've been taking weekends off. But up until that time, seven or more months of being there for you every single day, uh, trying to give you positive encouragement, trying to help you keep your head in the game, stay focused, stay out of the negativity of 2020. Boy, it's been a tough year. And so uh, we have been here. We thought that this, quite frankly, was going to be a week or two of quarantine, right? But who, who knew? And so here we are 250 days into it. And I am so thrilled because we have developed an international audience. And this international audience has been artists and people who want to learn about art, people getting together uh, daily, either in the replays or live, and communicating with one another and becoming part of one big happy family. So I'm so happy about that. Thank you. We have had so many stories, hundreds, literally hundreds of stories we've heard from people all around the world. We have had people who have told us for the first time in their life, they never believed that they could paint or draw, but because they were watching these instructional videos that we're doing every day at 12 noon and at 3 p.m., they got the courage to go out and try it, and they bought art materials, and they tried painting for the first time in their life. We've had many of them who ended up taking advantage of the discounts that we've been offering on the 3 p.m. videos, the samples of the well over 600 art instruction videos that we've produced. And so we give samples of those every day at 3 p.m. We've had people who have said to us, I painted when I was a kid, but I, I raised my kids. I, I worked uh, full time. I retired. And uh, because of this show, we've come back and, uh, and picked up a paintbrush for the first time in 30 years or 20 years or 10 years. And so many people and so many stories, what I would love for you to do if you're watching this, whether you're watching it live or in the replay, is put your story in the comments section. Now, let me tell you something else about the comments section is especially important for today. Now, we have two really big prizes. We're going to be giving away two full entry VIP passes. These are the big one, right? And the VIP passes come with all the goodies, the hats, the aprons, the all the all the gifts that we send you, plus about four hundred dollars worth of videos. Plus, you get to be a VIP and get all the special VIP privileges in Watercolor Live, our international online art conference that's coming up in late January. And so, we're giving away two of those. And we wanted to be fair. So we're giving away one inside the United States and one outside of the United States. And unlike most days where we announce the winner the next day, today we're going to do it live. So we're going to be announcing our winner live on this show, and you will be able to, to uh, learn today if you've won the prize. Now, here's how you've got to do it, though. There's very special instructions. Pay close attention, all right? So the first thing is you have to share this program. You can hit the share button right now if you think you're going to want to enter to win one of those. <clears throat> By the way, if you're already registered, you can give it to a friend, right? So uh, hit the share button right now on whatever you're watching on, and that will help you get entered. The second thing is that you must, <clears throat> most days it's not a must, but today you must say where you were watching from. So you can say, I'm Eric from Austin, Texas. Um, or you can say, hey, I really want to win. I'm Eric from Austin, Texas. <clears throat> Don't say that. Don't say that you're Eric. And then uh, you've got to say, well, I'm, you know, Mary from uh, the United Kingdom. Or and, and if you can tell us the town, that's even better. That way we know where everybody's watching from. And if you have never before put a comment in, today is the day. We're going to be going into the comments at the end of the show 
and randomly grabbing a winner. And you want to make sure that you could be that winner. So how do you win? Number one is you hit the share button right now. Number two, you put a comment in and say where you're from. Go ahead and get that done so that you've got that out of the way. And <clears throat> because today we're going to be doing the battle of the mediums. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> anyway, I digress. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> we got a lot to talk about today. First off, uh, we have a winner. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a winner from, it's not going to be very good if I lose my voice, is it? <clears throat> We have a winner from uh, Friday, the winner of my book, Make More Money Selling Your Art, and number one Amazon bestseller goes to Emiliana Poro Gonzalez from Dangosa, Spain. All right, Emiliana. All right, thumbs up and applause for Emiliana Poro Gonzalez in, in uh, Dangonzo, Spain. Thank you for watching. And uh, we, we're going to have international attendees from Watercolor Live. That's going to be really cool. Uh, so congrats on that. Now, remember, today's prize, I just told you, two tickets to Watercolor Live, one inside and one outside the U.S. Now, I've got a couple other things to tell you. Today is the final day to enter the Plein Air Salon Art Competition. And uh, it goes to the end of the month. Is today the end of the month or is tomorrow? What is today? Today is the 30th. Yeah, today's the end of the month. So uh, you can win. Uh, up to 30000 in cash prizes, 15000 grand prize. We have monthly prizes for first, second, and third place, plus articles. And if you're the grand prize winner, you're going to uh, win 15000 and the cover of Plein Air magazine. Today is the last day to enter the November competition. It does not have to be a quote-unquote fresh painting, and it does not have to be a Plein Air painting. We have all kinds of categories, including studio paintings, still life, nocturnes, students, uh, seniors, et cetera. We have uh, 19 categories. And so enter that today. Make a note to yourself, enter Plein Air Salon today at, at pleinairsalon.com. Also, I want to tell you that uh, we have a free gift for anybody who wants it. Uh, we'll send you a, uh, it's 97 Amazing Painting Secrets from the World's Best Artists. It's a two-hour video. It's $107 value. Our gift to you and you can have it on DVD or streaming. And if you want DVD, we ask you pay the $6, $7 shipping. Streaming, uh, you can have it instantly at no charge. And we would love to give that to you. And so uh, make sure you get that done. Now, every day at 3 p.m., uh, as I mentioned before, we're offering a sample of one of the many hundreds of art instruction videos that we've created with hundreds of different artists. Today is no exception. Today we have the great Kathy Anderson bringing the garden indoors from this video uh, where you're going to learn how she does these amazing, absolutely amazing floral paintings. Uh, she's also done this video, how to paint the flowers in the studio. Now, I, I, that's at the very early stages when I got into the video game. And uh, I actually personally shot and produced that one myself. So uh, you want to get that uh, today at 3 p.m., get a chance to see that. And we, of course, will have discounts on that available to you today only in day number 250. All right. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about real quickly is that we are doing a massive uh, international project. This is the first time in the history of watercolor that all these greats have been together on one stage at one time. We have on the 28th through 30th of January an, an, a virtual event called Watercolor Live. And if you sign up before the 6th of December, you'll save 100 bucks. There's a beginner day on the 27th, which is separate. And uh, then you can also get the others, the 28th through 30th, with these great artists. Now, let me go through uh, the names. First off, our guest today, Birgit O'Connor, is going to be part of Watercolor Live. Uh, Shuang Lee will be part of it. Angus McEwen from Scotland. Ian Stewart from Ireland. Dan Marshall from the U.S. Thomas Schaller from New York in the U.S. Andy Evenson from the Minneapolis area. Uh, Stephen Zhang from Texas. 
Suni Warren, uh, Matthew Bird, Pablo Rubin from Spain, the great figurative artist Mario Robinson, and the great still life artist Lauren McCracken, Keiko Tanabe, a Japanese artist, Joseph Zabukvich, probably the most well known and, and most highly respected artist in the world in watercolor. Uh, in uh, in uh, Australia, uh, <clears throat> John Salminian, uh, Jean Peterson, Kim. I always get I always get this one wrong. <laughs> Kim McKello. Oh my goodness, Kim's going to hate me for that. Uh, Brenda S uh, Swenson, Michael Holter, Angus McEwen, and. Linda Daly Baker. So that's called Watercolor Live. You want to make sure that you register for that. Uh, get that done because the price goes up on the 6th of uh, December. And it's coming up in late January. It'd be a great Christmas gift for someone you know or for yourself. And it's fair, fairly inexpensive to attend. Uh, it's going to be four incredible days. I'll be hosting it along with Kelly Kane. Now, a couple other things I should mention. We continue to do the plein air convention, which will be held in May. Uh, we will, of course, have to monitor what's happening with the virus, but assuming all things are good and we're able, we're going to be getting together for the largest gathering of planner artists in the world this coming May. Also, in September, I'm taking a group of uh, painters to Russia. Had a mad rush on this last week, and we probably will be sold out soon, but there's still some seats left. You go to paintrussia.com to learn all about it. Uh, my uh, blog, something you want to check out, it's called Coffee with Eric, Sunday Coffee. Just go to coffeewitheric.com. That's something that has to do more with life philosophy than it is having to do with art. All right, so now we're going to get back to it, and we're going to continue day number 250. But first, this brief message. Join the world for Watercolor Live, the ultimate watercolor learning event, January 27th to 30th. Four days of online art lessons from top master watercolor artists from around the globe. Learn to paint nature, people, cityscapes, flowers, and more. Become a better artist. Click the link to learn more and get our free ebook, 101 Watercolor Secrets from the Top Masters. All right. And also, I want to mention tomorrow, first time in, our, in the history of this program every day, uh, we have a sculptor on. Rick Caselli uh, is going to be on Fabulous Sculptor, and you're going to learn about sculpting tomorrow. That's going to be, I'm so looking forward to learning about 3D art. So uh, tune in tomorrow for Rick. Now, today we're going to be painting this. Uh, we have four artists who are competing with us. We're going to be painting this image, and we have these four artists who are now back with us. Okay, welcome back, artists. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We have uh, uh, we have a, a, a we're gonna go about uh, 30 minutes, and maybe a little bit longer if I have the time. But we need to have time to to tabulate the votes. And so I noticed Shelby, you're already half done. What's the story here? Hey, whoa, whoa, no, no. Hey, but that's the acrylic right there. Somebody said something about acrylic. There it is. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're not cheating because there's no oil on that canvas. Correct. Yes. And so that's an underpainting that you've done. All right. Yeah. And Greg, it looks like you've already finished. <laughs> we well, I, I, I did a little <laughs> sketching while you were talking, and, you know, I thought I was supposed to be painting, so I just went yeah. at it. Oh. Can we start? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, and, All right. And, I got some uh, work to do still. And Birgit, I thought you said you had a sky in there. I don't even see well, it. Well, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm waiting. Can I start? <laughs> okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, Tiffany, are you ready? Yep. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Right. Okay. All right. So, every, and uh, somebody will be commenting from time to time about what they're doing. I will be reading comments from the comments section. And I uh, want to remind you guys to share this today and also to make sure that you say where you're from in the comments. And I will be going in and uh, checking those. Today we're giving away uh, Watercolor Live, uh, two uh, VIP Watercolor Live tickets. One will be uh, inside the U.S. and one will be outside of the U.S. 
I uh, I wish I had a way I could show the the reference image for you guys. Uh, I'll show it from time to time just so you have a feel for it. Um, so this is the image that they're all painting. And uh, Shelby, what the heck are you doing over there? Just making a mess with some dark paint right now. I'm doing my drawing. Okay. <laughs> getting getting my land my landscape drawn in there, and it's a landscape. Oh my gosh, I have a definite disadvantage here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, we did that on purpose because you cheated by putting an underpainting in first. <laughs> okay. okay, so Tiffany's doing gouache. Yes, I am. I usually paint gouache pretty thick like oil, so I have a lot of fun with that. Uh, just blocking in my shadow shape, so I'm just kind of getting a feel of the whole painting, the pattern, and dark shapes. That's what I really okay. like. All right. Birgit's got, looks like she's got it sketched in and uh, it's got a sky in there. Yep. Yep. And I'm going, to, many words. I'm going to use something very magical, a little piece of paper. Okay. I'm going to paint with my paper. You're going to paint with your paper. Yep. Instead of a palette knife or anything like that, I'm going to use my paper. I soak it, get rid of some of the extra water because we've got all that those rocks and gravel up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get some texture in. I see, okay, cool. Well, this is, a, for, you're the first to paint with paper on, on this <laughs> program. I'd like to be first. <laughs> wow, pretty effective. It's pretty fun, it's a lot of fun. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and check with with somebody else over here. Let's see, we'll see what Greg is doing. Greg, wait a minute. You're <laughs> cheating. You're a big time no. cheater. It's just fast, Eric. I can't help it. <laughs> well, it's it's still going to be up to the up to the audience. Yeah. All right. No. All right. What are you doing here? What tell us tell us what your process has been well, so far. Basically, actually, I did. Let me pull this down. I did a. These were some studies that I did um, when you guys sent us the. Uh, the image earlier. So I thought, do I want to zoom in on it or do I just want to do the whole thing? I don't know. It also gave me an idea of the colors I wanted to use. So, okay. um, you know, I've got this hanging up next to it. Um, All right. But yeah, when I started, I just blocked in the dark shapes and kept on okay. moving. All right. Terrific. Now I'm going to check in with Shelby. Shelby, so you're yeah, like, you're laying in your darks over your underpainting, is that that's right? right? Yes, and and Greg, you really did cheat, man. That was totally cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I just pretended to cheat. <laughs> I think you both cheated. I'm just saying. I think I cheated the least here. <laughs> that's right. So you get Tiffany. I did not do any pre-planning. No sketches. I just go for it. Yay! Good job. It's extra compensation in, in the uh, in the voting. It's going to be weighted voting. Okay, so now here we have Tiffany doing a gouache. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks, right. So gouache is a water-based medium that's very opaque. Um, it's not watercolor, but it it uh, it cleans up like watercolor. It paints much more like oil, except it dries fast. Um, actually, gouache is opaque watercolor. I didn't know that till like a couple years back, but I actually, it's actually the French word for like opaque watercolor. So I didn't know that um, either, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So um, a lot of people, I love painting with gouache because it's kind of the underdog and a lot of people, a lot of people don't know about it. And so I just love to, um, I fell in love with it um, when I first saw Mike Hernandez paint in gouache. And after that, then I taught myself gouache with his, um, his uh, guidance and just learning and practicing And I think I'm pretty much most known for this medium. I also paint in oils, but um, more so in gouache, smaller right. paintings, really six by six to um, biggest I paint is like nine by 12. Uh -huh. But, um, and I'm a lefty here, so sorry if I keep covering myself. That's all right. Well, we did a but, video with Mike, Mike Hernandez teaching, so. I know. Yeah. Yeah. All he right. told me about that. I remember. He's amazing. So. He is amazing. Yeah. Well, this is fun. Okay, I'm going to check in with the crew here and see how everybody's doing. 
Let's go to the comments. I'll uh, I'll hit, head to the comments and see what I can see. I uh, hope you guys are uh, hello South Africa. Looks like fun. We're having fun. Yes. Um, okay. Good morning from San Diego, from South Africa. Greg's studies are wonderful. I love Shelby's bold approach. They both cheated. Okay. <laughs> this is a great way to start a Monday. Hello from Canada. Tiffany is not cheating. Keep that in mind, says Elaine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see who else we've got tuning in. My story started drawing when I was three. My mom really encouraged me through my young life. While I did paint later in my life, my career took up most of my time. Now I'm painting regularly. All right, Susan, congratulations. Watching from Malta in the Mediterranean, your videos have been a lifetime, a, a lifeline for me during this strange time. I would love to win your fabulous prize. Thank you so much for everything you do. All right. You guys have got to make sure you're saying where you're from and you got to make sure that you, you're going to have to be able to prove that you posted, uh, you shared. All right. Looks like everybody's doing a great job so far. Rock, paper, scissors. That's how it's <laughs> going to be done. <laughs> All right. Hello from, uh, Cumbria, United Kingdom, Whitehaven, Cumbria, United Kingdom. Notice the gorgeous Lake District, outstanding natural beauty. Hello from India. Welcome, India. Karen says, I discovered plein air painting in 97 from classes at the Art Students League of Denver, moved to Washington in 2000, had to work full time, ran out of energy to do both around 212. So not much painting since then. Laid off at the end of February. So now I've renewed my love for painting, mostly studio work, hoping to change that come to, come this spring. All right, we'll get you outside, get you to the plein air convention. Thank you, Karen. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to, to uh, Birgit because it looks like that paper is making some progress there. <laughs> Are you not using any brushes? You're doing everything with well, paper? Well, I am. I'm using a couple of brushes. I'm using a flat brush, and pretty much that's all I've used so far. Okay. It's a lot of fun. You know, I painted with a feather the other day. I mean, Bob Ross painted with a feather the <laughs> other day. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice. It was nice, actually. Works out. It's very similar to paper. I, I, can I would imagine. Yeah. All right. Painting with your fingers, fun too. <laughs> fingers painting. I I went painting the other day and I forgot my brushes. I had to paint with sticks in my fingers. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna check in with uh with Greg here. Greg's making progress. It's getting there. All right. Good job. <laughs> so I do an alt I alternate. I, I, at the beginning, I put down a lot of just quick marks um, and then I'll go in and and sometimes I use a paper towel and I'll uh, just smush them in. I'm working on a sandpaper. Uh, people that don't do pastels might not be aware that it's a it's an archival sandpaper, about a 400 grit that I like to use. Cool. And um, yeah, in fact, it's right on the back of the of the paper. 400, yeah. So. Um, it gives it a nice tooth and it holds the uh, holds the pigment really well and lets me keep layering and um, just keep adding more color cool. as I go. Well, you better get going because you're going to lose this battle even though you cheated. <laughs> you get going. All, right. All right. Let's see here. We check in with Shelby. All right. Now Shelby's laying in some snow. Or rocks or something. Whatever or that something. is. So Shelby, if if you're going to cover up all that beautiful color, why put it there? Um, because I'm not going to cover it all up. There'll be lots of it showing, especially in today's painting, which is going to happen really fast. So there'll be a lot of uh, color sort of sparkling through where the paint kind of doesn't meet uh, the the line work. I won't paint over all the line work. There'll be little glimmers of of you know 
underpainting showing through. It'll be kind of a little dance. That's kind of a hard discipline. And my tendency would want to be cover it up like, you know, like a coloring book. It's very difficult to see the beauty in what's already there. Yeah. So it's a, it is definitely a discipline to keep yourself from painting every square inch. I try not to paint up to the edges either. My edges of my canvas show a lot of underpainting as well. All right, cool. And I have I have a, a uh, um, uh, Mike Hernandez uh, gouache. I own one of his. I was thinking of when when. Uh, oh, you own one of his gouache paintings. I do. I do. Oh, look so, at you. I see it every day. Well, I'm sure he appreciates that. Yeah. Outstanding. Okay, we're going to move on here. And let's see here. We've got uh, Tiffany. Yep. Tiffany's making some progress here. Yep, trying to put on some slap on strokes, trying to put it together. But I'm having fun. It's kind of like a dance to me. So okay. I'll start playing around with color shifts soon. Okay. There's a period, there's a time where you have, I just kind of let go and don't think as much. But you can see how much white I'm using. Um, the thing with gouache, it dries a lot darker in value. So sometimes I use up like a tube of gouache for painting. So the way I paint is not very economical, but um, I like really thick uh, with gouache. So that's where it leads to the fun for me. Okay. And I know Mike same way so we sort of bond over that um, we both he, he he said at one time you have to paint like your building about that and i was like that's so true that's what i try to tell my students um but it's really funny because you see a lot of people they're used to painting like watercolor where you don't have to squeeze as much paint yeah. so i'm telling them no you have to squeeze more paint don't be scared our buddies at the paint manufacturers love that we squeeze a lot of paint Just oh like yeah sure yeah. Then you buy and more. Thanks for just tuning in, everyone. We're uh, celebrating day number 250 of being on the air since the beginning of coronavirus. And today we are doing the battle of the mediums. We have these four artists who are battling in pastel, oil, and acrylic with Shelby Keefe, watercolor with Birgit O'Connor, and gouache with Tiffany Bang. And so everybody's battling. At the end, you're going to vote. We need, uh, we're going to be giving away prizes today. We need each of you to put in your name, or not your name, you just go into comments, uh, whatever uh, you're watching on, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or otherwise, Twitter, uh, just put in uh, uh, a comment. Please say where you're from because we're giving away uh, two VIP tickets to Watercolor Live, one inside the United States and one outside the United States, and we're giving it away live today. We're going to pick the winner on the show today. So you want to be here, uh, if possible, uh, to win this. And so get back in there and start uh, start giving us your comments and make sure that you say where you're from. Where you're from. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's another, there's a new word I've invented, froming. All right. This is fun. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go back to, uh, to look at, at, uh, at Birgit. Hello. I'm going to take another little piece of paper. I want to get my darker values up here, but it's still too wet. You can drag out a hairdryer if you need to. Oh, okay. That's not going to bother the sound. Enough. Well, I can mute it. So okay. If you need to do that, we understand. Okay. We'll get a few little shapes in there. Birgit is painting mostly with a piece of paper. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, that's the name of the game. It's got to have fun. That is. That's what it's all about. All right. Well, if you need to get that hair dryer out, just lay it in front of the camera so I can see it's time to mute. Got it. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to go back here to Greg. All right. See, see I, you know, cheating has given you a, a great advantage, I'm thinking. <laughs> to be honest, I, I panicked, Eric, when you were doing your little commercial. I thought we were supposed to paint, so sorry about that. Well, that's just the difference between guys and girls. Girls pay attention. 
No, I was panicking too. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so I'm using a piece of vine charcoal right now. I'm sorry, you just um, and that that's something I can do some little uh, squigglies with and do some shading with that. So okay, um, got a couple other little tools besides the pastels. All right, let's see them. Use. Let's see it. Do it. Let's see you do it. Every day now for 250 days, we have been here uh, either giving you marketing advice or doing interviews with uh, art galleries or, or seeing art collections. But mostly we've been having demonstrations from artists. Most days it's just one in a day and they'll do uh, as much as they can get done in a typical hour. And uh, so we've been seeing demonstrations in all kinds of mediums and we're here every day. And you can find us on uh, Facebook or on YouTube uh, and just by going to Streamline Art Video. And if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would be a good thing for today. Today, 250. I'm going to mute here for a second. Uh, so for day 250, everybody goes to YouTube and hits subscribe. Just go to Streamline Art Video. And that way we uh, we get you as a subscriber and you get to get these automatically. Plus all 250 days of both broadcasts, the 3 p.m. and the 12 p.m. broadcasts are in YouTube in archive if you hit the subscribe button. All right. And otherwise, just tune us in every day at 12 noon. All right. She looks like she's done with the hairdryer. I can bring her back on now. Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Looks like Shelby's making some progress. Let's see what's happening here. That's a lot of darks have gone in there. Yep. Uh, we're going to throw some green in. Time for some green. Got a little green going on here. This is going to be an interesting competition because everybody's doing such an amazing job. I don't know. Nothing like a timeline to make us work free and fresh. Free and fresh. Now, Shelby normally works with music that she's created. She composes and records her own music and then plays her own music while she's painting. And she did that on stage. We put her into a challenge on stage a couple of different times at the plein air convention. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think you got invited to the plein air convention after winning the plein air salon. Does that sound right? That was right. That, exactly right. I got to I got to thrill and amaze with the on on the big stage at the beginning with some really raucous music. You told me big, that big fat brush. Big you fat told brush. me that you didn't really believe you were going to win the plein air salon. Oh no! That, that, I totally totally didn't even grok that. In fact, I was so not I was so clueless. I wasn't even there. When you guys announced, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, it's 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 helped a lot since then. It sure has. It's it's been great. And so, I, what's your best advice to anybody who's thinking about entering the salon? Well, I I just think it's a great opportunity to be seen by uh, the the people who are jurying. Number one. And uh, if you obviously, if you just trust and put out your best piece of work um, or works, uh, you never know who's going to be turned on by it and vote you in. And then you, then heck, if you, you get seen all over the place and you get students and galleries. And I mean, it, I was so lucky just feeling very blessed. Okay. We're going to check across, by the way, we're, uh, we're probably going to stop in, I'm going to stop in 15 minutes. All right. Plenty of time. Okay. 15 minutes. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. He says, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're well along. Yeah. You feel like you can get it done in 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right. Take my, take 15 minutes to sign my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's such a long name. Uh, and what about you, Tiffany? You look like you're making progress. Uh, it's all right. I'm not super happy with it, but I'm just going to like keep playing around. I have to figure out some stuff, but well, it's just a journey. So whatever I get done in 15 minutes, I'll be happy. And we'll see how it turns out. Well, none of us are ever completely happy, are we? Oh. So. 
Yeah. Somebody somebody wanted to dispute that. It sounded like Birgit. I didn't say that. No, that wasn't you. <laughs> I think you know, we're never really completely happy with what we do. Well, there's nothing like the pressure of doing it in front of thousands of people on Thank you. online. <laughs> It just just no pressure, but this could either destroy your career or make your career. Yep, that is so true. <laughs> I don't think anything like that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun watching everybody here, and, and uh, they're all coming together just beautifully. I'll go back to the comments now and see what's going on in the comments. Here is a comment. Her story. I've asked people to post your stories of what the impact of this 250 days might have been on you. It says, uh, Corey says, I taught art elementary age students for 28 years, including a visual and performing arts magnet school. I painted in oils in my studio during the breaks and summer vacation all the while, but had not painted in plein air in 2012 after a visiting artist came to my school and did a presentation to my class. Plein air is my favorite. It was hard with COVID because of all the parks and unusual, unusual places being closed. Though the rest of the spring, through the rest of the spring, no traveler events. But watching your daily, uh, looks like I've lost the rest of the comment. Ah, well, anyway, hopefully, I hope, hope it's been helpful for you. Uh, we have a thing called the Plen Air Force, which I announced at the convention a few years ago. And the whole goal was to get people out talking to high schools and elementary schools and artists doing lectures. We even created a documentary so that people could have uh, something to lean on. And so they wanted to play that. So the fact that somebody came to a school and got you excited about plein air, I'm thrilled that that worked. Congratulations on that. All right. Guys, make sure that you're, uh, you're saying where you're from if you haven't done that yet. Because uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be choosing two winners, one from inside and one from outside the United States. So make sure you say where you're from, and uh, we will randomly go in. Uh, uh, Christina and Allie are standing by, and they're gathering this information. There is a lot of talent up there, says Ta Tammy Callens, and that's coming from someone very talented who's saying that. So very cool, Tammy. Thanks for tuning in. Tammy was at the very first Publishers Invitational that I did, uh, which was, gosh, a long, long time ago. We do it every summer now. We've done it every summer for 10 years. This, this summer will be the 10th. It would have been the 11th, but we had to cancel. But uh, that's a, kind of a fun event. All right, let's see how we're doing here. I'll check in with Shelby. Hello. <laughs> Get I can really see the benefit of that color shining through now. Yeah. And, and having this really fast deadline makes it easy to not paint every square inch. So I love this challenge. It's a great challenge. Well, I appreciate that you're willing to step up and do it. And I, I recommend people give, give themselves a really short timeline to do a painting. And that really helps you... Uh, see how beautiful a free brush stroke is and how little you actually need to say something when you force yourself to go really fast. We got uh, someone watching from Iceland. Welcome Iceland. Wow. I don't think I've seen Iceland before. Anchorage, Alaska, you're up early. Let's <laughs> see here. I don't I wonder what time it is in Iceland. It must be late. Early, late, later, early, late, I'm guessing. We need to see more international people chiming in, saying where you're from so you have a chance to win. Watercolor Live is virtual, so you'll be able to watch it from, from wherever you are. And even if you can't make the dates, you can watch the replays. With the, uh, with the VIP, you get a one-year replay, so you can watch it for up to a year. And you're getting all this other stuff, all these goodies, which is fun. Maggie Hernandez is, is in Italy. Hello, Maggie. Uh, let's see here. Somebody's talking about the group of seven uh, in Canada. Well, today we have the group of four. 
you guys are, are going to be okay birgit you're you're uh painting upside down now sideways i do sideways. that a lot. yeah i rotate my painting all the time a lot of times i'll put it upside down like that so that way i have a better balance in the painting and i can access areas a little easier all right and are you painting uh, flat or are you painting at a slight angle? I'm painting uh, this one flat. If I want a really juicy painting, I'll have it at an angle. Okay. Meaning like the portraits, I want to encourage uh, drools and blooms. You know, I drool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all happening as we're getting older. <laughs> hey, Nova Scotia, welcome. <laughs> Here's uh, Francine who says, I never started painting till I was 48 and I did some splits and starts but and decided to give it some attention but 15 years till last, uh, give it some attention for 15 years till last year when I saw time is running out, I better give it some time to see if I can do it. I improved, but finding you this year has boosted my desire to see where I can take it. Thank you, Eric, and uh, thank you for making us laugh, New Brunswick. Thank you, Francine, that's very sweet. Uh, let's see. Donna says my first, my story is that my art was my first love, but science swept me off my feet in my years of studying and working in biology. I did plein air paintings of botanicals. Cool. And indoor plein air of dinosaurs. I started up again painting in 2008 and got into plein air. Now I'm boning up on figures and portraits after uh, realism live. Oh, cool. Thank you, Donna. I'd like to see some of those dinosaur paintings. If Sherry uh, Dawn Haas from our uh, editorial department is watching, that might be a good story. Just saying. Mm -hmm. uh, Sherry says, my story, painting after traumatic eye injury and many subsequent surgeries, the way I see now is actually to help, is a help to seeing shape and value. Always a silver lining. Uh, the daily videos and demos have been great springboard for trying various techniques. Thank you for that. All right. Okay, so we're coming up on, uh, we're going to give you guys, what did I say? Uh, you got seven minutes. Seven minutes. We're going to run a little long today because of this. Okay, we'll check in here with Tiffany. <laughs> Don't check in with me. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. I don't know. <laughs> I need to step back all the time. I have yeah. tunnel vision. Like I'm like in emergency mode. I'm just like slapping down the stroke. But I love painting with a time restraint. Well, it makes you bold. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. And it's an exercise I give my students. So I to do the same. All right. Terrific. Okay, so back with Greg. What are you doing yeah. now, Greg? I'm just making some finishing touches. Sometimes I'll go and find where I can put some uh, extra little pops of color. So I'll go in between the, the dark area and the light area, and that's where I'll hit it. Okay. So I'm um, doing a little bit of that and just trying not to overwork it, actually. Okay, good. Keep it fresh. Yeah. All right. Let's see what Shelby's doing. Looks different every time I check back. <laughs> That's great. Awesome. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I'm trying to get bigger brushes. The bigger brushes get more done. Quicker. You know, since you're typically an architecture painting, I'm surprised that you didn't put a little house in that building in oh, that, at the no, end of that road. No, this is good. This is good practice for me. So <laughs> I need to get better at landscape. So well, you. Fun. Well, that's a, that's a Colorado landscape, and that's in honor of the plein air convention coming up in Colorado, yes. where we all go out and paint landscapes together for five days. Plus, we have indoor training uh, on five stages. It's going to be pretty cool. Yep. Can't wait. Yeah. It's always fun. It's like seeing the family. It's like Thanksgiving for artists. It's the best. Wow. Okay. Looks like Birgit is back at it. So I'm wondering if uh, in the when the voting comes, if the watercolor people are going to vote for the watercolorists and the and the oil people are going to vote for the oilist, or they're just going to 
vote. Hopefully they'll vote, vote for the best overall painting. Guys, get ready and be thinking about this because you're going to have to put your vote in pretty soon and my team's going to have to tabulate them pretty quickly. So we're All the gonna wash stop. people come you next. <laughs> Say that again. I said wash is such an underdog. I hope all the gouache people come. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd say you have a pretty good chance. You're doing I'd great. I'd vote for yours, Tiffany. I like it. Thank you so much. I can't see any of your guys' because my phone is flipped upside down. So I, have, I, 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 I occasionally look like crouched down. I've been looking at people, but it's kind of hard. But I'm sure your guys' paintings are all beautiful. Well, they're all beautiful. That's true. Absolutely. Uh, question. When painting with gouache, is it best to use frequently squeezed or dried when re-wet paint? Or recently uh, squeezed? I like to always use a little bit of wet paint, uh, fresh paint. But sometimes when I'm touching up a painting, I will um, I will just use oil, uh, old paint like on my canvas. This is how my typical palette looks like. It's like totally crazy. Um, so I use this usually, but this is just something cleaner. And hold, hold that show. up again because I didn't get a close up yet. Hold that. Oh up. yeah. Sure. All right. Oh my, what a mess. Yep, it's a total mess, and I don't know when I when I paint with the palette that's too clean, it just throws me off a little bit. I have to have a little bit of that chaos. It's really weird. Well, um, so. Little chaos <laughs> never hurt anybody. Yeah, organized chaos. So, <laughs> but yeah, get a lot of comments on the palette. <laughs> Joe is is watching from her cozy, warm home in Atlanta, listening to Christmas songs, making homemade turkey soup from the leftovers from Thanksgiving while working too. Totally ma multitasking here. Joe, uh, vegan cookies. I'm just saying, you know, vegan cookies. Eric never gets vegan cookies. Everybody thinks I'm nuts for being a vegan. All right. So we have uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Looks like beer gets done, I'm guessing, because she's removing the tape. Very nice. Okay. All right. We're getting near the end here. This is this is the final final moments. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, now we're getting some light on those those uh, branches. Throwing a little bit in there. All right. Okay. Okay, I want to remind everybody. Uh, hang on a second. We got you got two minutes. I want to remind everybody that if you want to win the prize of Watercolor Live VIP pass uh, for the January event, um, you'll get a one year replay and you're going to get all the goodies that go with it. We're giving away one in the U.S. and we're giving away one outside of the U.S. today. We're going to do it live. Uh, my trusted assistant is going to be on here, uh, helping me pick winners. And, uh, then we also are going to, you're going to be voting for the winners of the, uh, the battle of the mediums as we go through here, the battle of the mediums, <laughs> uh, day number 250, as we celebrate 250 days, it's hard to believe. I even put on a jacket for the occasion just for today. <laughs> All right. One minute. Ding, 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 ding. One minute. All right. All right. Get ready. You'll have to be. Once I tell you, you got to lay down your brushes. <laughs> Okay, lay down your brushes. Lay them down. Okay, so now what? it's going to be your chance to vote. Now, I don't want anybody to vote yet, but what I'd like you to do is get your cameras as close as you can to your painting, 
And we know they're not finished, but get them the closest you possibly can. And then I'm going to go through each one. And you're going to, you, all you have to do is put uh, the first name. Uh, and that's all you're going to need to do. Okay. So the first one I'm going to show you is um, Birgit. Birgit. Um, this is her watercolor painting. Applause, Birgit. Okay, now I just want to tell you very quickly, for those of you who are interested, uh, Birgit is at BirgitOConnor.com. That's BirgitOConnor.com. And you can find out all her stuff there. She's got books and she's got videos and uh, she's got an online course. So that's BirgitOConnor.com. Next, we have Tiffany Mang. Tiffany, yeah. congratulations. Let's see it close up. Get it closer, closer. Up. Oh, nope. Can't see I, it. I don't I think the shadow is it's kind upside of down. Oh, don't make excuses. You're you're doing great. No, that, no, no, that... no, 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 no. We don't want to see it upside down. You're doing it great. Just move it over to the to one side, over to your right. Now down about one inch. Okay, good. All right. Now we can see it. So this is Tiffany, and that's gouache. And you can find Tiffany at TiffanyMang.com. That's where you'll find Tiffany, TiffanyMang.com. Congratulations, Tiffany. Nice job on that. So uh, next we have Shelby. Shelby, it looks like it's a little out of focus. I'm not sure why. There. Well, I think we can see it. Okay. So uh, – you can find Shelby at shelbykeefe.com. Nope, nope. It's studioshelby.com. Oh, stu I'm sorry. Okay, well, we'll change that. We'll have to change that. <laughs> studioshelby.com. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you. And uh, it looks like it's moving. It's a move. It's a motion picture. Okay. <laughs> and then last we have uh, Greg Barnes. Oops. Greg Barnes did a pastel painting. Lots of energy. And that's, uh, hopefully we oh, have wow. the right website for Greg Barnes. It's barnesstudio.com. Barnesstudio.com. Great place to get Christmas presents from these artists, by the way. Okay, so now what I want you to do in the comments, I want you to put your vote in right now. Just you get to vote one time for one artist. Is it going to be Greg? Is it going to be Shelby? Hang on a second. It's Greg, it's Shelby, it's Tiffany, it's Birgit. Remember, it's watercolor, it's gouache. Hey, you're still painting. It's, Sorry, I am. Uh, uh, and it's Greg. All right. So uh, what, what I want to do now is while we're waiting for the votes to come in, I'm going to bring Allie on screen. And Allie is going to help me with picking the winners for, uh, so Allie, hi Hello. there. Hey. So Allie does not like to be on screen. Uh, I should, I should just say publicly that Allie runs my life. And, uh, uh, my, my wife says you have a work wife and a, and a home wife and, and Allie would be my work wife. She just runs my life. And, uh, it is absolutely amazing. How many how many years we've been together, Allie? Uh, eight. Eight years. We've been married for eight years. Yikes. <laughs> uh, eight years. Uh, that's that's unbelievable. Well, let's hope you, that you can live through another eight. I hope so. Yes, Allie. Uh, just so you guys know, Allie uh, puts all the agendas together and manages all the artists for the Plein Air Convention, the Figurative Art Convention, and Expo. Plus, Realism Live, Watercolor Live, Plein Air Live. It's a giant job. Just one of those takes a huge amount of time. Plus, she's doing all the arranging for all of these events every day, getting the artists arranged and setting them up. So, Allie, round of applause. You are a superstar. Thank you, Eric. Yay, Allie. Okay. So, Allie, uh, you've gone through and, and selected some winners. Yes. Christina and I... Uh went through we double checked that everybody had uh that we the two that we picked had uh, shared on their facebook page so the two winners are deanna levescu neil from new hampshire all right and kristen nagel from norway 
Outstanding. Okay. All right. Thumbs up and applause for Deanna Yay. in New Hampshire and Kristen in Norway. Congratulations. You guys are going to Watercolor Live as a VIP. Allie, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Now, uh, what are we doing about tabulating votes? Well, Christina is um, counting them as we speak, and she is going to uh, let me have that winner in a few moments. Okay. How, how long do we have? Uh, we'll take as much time as we need. I'm going to check in with the artist and see how they felt about things. All right. So um, we have – oh, we, hang on a second. We have – Shelby, no, we have Greg. Me. Okay, <laughs> Greg, uh, just give us a, a ten seconds. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your career. Well, in ten seconds, wow! I started okay, painting full seconds. time, full time after nine eleven. Actually, that was my impetus. Life is short. Do what you love, and I've been um, painting ever since then. I also do some teaching, so check my website out and see where my workshops are. I'll be setting up some more um, in 2021. And are you all are, are you 100 pastel? Do you do other mediums as well? Uh, I do some oil. Uh, I've got some hanging up here, but um, I do mostly pastel. I, I when I started painting, uh, it was uh, I was doing portraits and charcoal, and then you know obviously that translates to pastel when you want to go to color. And then I saw people were using it to do landscape paintings. And I said, I want to be outside. So that's how I started plein air painting with pastels. Cool. All right. Outstanding. Well, thank you for being on today. Hang tight. We're going to have the winners announced in a minute. All right. Okay. Next we have Shelby. Hi, Shelby. Hey, hi there. All right. So tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I was a graphic designer for about 26 years, but I always painted at the same time. And then finally I was making more money making paintings and graphic design. So I quit in 2005, full-time painter since then and do some teaching. And, uh, I love doing music. I love, uh, everything, you know, I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Terrific. Well, uh, fingers crossed and good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks. All for right. Me. Okay. Tiffany. You're upside Hello. down. Hi. You want to tell us anything about yourself at this last minute? Uh, yeah, sure. I uh, um, studied animation actually at USC, but the change point in my life was when I worked on the feature film Loving in Poland as an oil painter animator. And then I decided to pursue uh, my art more. And uh, ever since then, I um, got and I also so I freelance animation and I teach classes in digital painting and gouache painting. And I currently run my own mentorship. So that's been going really well. Okay, good. Great. Thank you so much. Awesome. And now, Birgit, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> so I teach a lot out of my studio. I have a lot of online courses. I used to do a lot of traveling and teaching for workshops. But the online um, opportunity is wonderful. You're able, for me, I'm able to create so much more being in the studio and such a wide variety of different things. Like you can see the portraits and florals and landscapes that um, it's just really exciting. So especially during these times and keeping everybody motivated. Yeah, that's really oh, the tough part. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go back to Allie here. And see, Ali, do we have any any word here? We don't have your audio. There we go. So we do have a winner. It was a very tight race, um, but the winner is Birgit. Oh, what, job, thank Birgit. you. Oh, I'm oh. so I, I am honored. I am honored. Thank you, everyone. I mean, and especially this has been such an amazing opportunity with everybody else here. That was awesome doing it with everyone. Well, everybody, yeah. has been, everybody has been a real trooper. So here's uh, Allie. Do you want to tell every tell everybody what they've won? <laughs> oh. So, Birgit, you have won a an article in Plain Air uh, today, our new weekly newsletter. Oh, and, great. Um, the other three runners-up 
Honorable mentions have won a, a $250 voucher to streamline uh, to our streamline store. So that includes aprons, it includes videos, it includes a number of things that you can pick. And if you don't need it for yourself, you could gift it to somebody. Thank awesome. you. Thank, Thank you. That's, awesome. That's great. Actually, we're 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 gonna give a uh, beer get one of those too. Yes. So <laughs> Thank you, you. You, all, you all get uh, that's your payment for being on today, and for being <laughs> such good sports. And awesome. uh, and and uh, we we actually will do a uh, we're gonna do a story about uh, this little competition that we did on the show. But beer get you're gonna get your own story as well. So you're all gonna get some publicity out of this. It was so nice meeting everybody. This was a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you. It was a Great lot. to meet you all. Well, thank you for being on today. I'm honored that you guys would be with us. And uh, I'm just going to wrap up with a couple of final announcements. And, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching today and to supporting these artists. I would encourage you to go to their websites and buy Christmas presents. Uh, we we want to support artists. Uh, we want to make sure that people are thinking about art. If you're watching this and you're not an artist, but you're just curious about it, uh, look up the names of these people, do a screenshot, and then you can look up the, their names, Google their names, and, and then go there and buy paintings from them, including they probably would sell the paintings that they just completed. So uh, yeah. this is how these folks are living. And uh, nice job, everyone, on that. And uh, so thank you for being a part of it. And um, and I'm just, while I take you guys off screen, I'm just going to play this little ditty real quick. Join the world for Watercolor Live, the ultimate watercolor learning event, January 27th to 30th. Four days of online art lessons from top master watercolor artists from around the globe. Learn to paint nature, people, cityscapes, flowers, and more. Become a better artist. Click the link to learn more and get our free ebook, 101 Watercolor Secrets from the Top Masters. Well, a reminder that Watercolor Live's uh, price increase is December 6th. Get it done now. It's a time when uh, it's, it's a great time for Christmas presents. A friend of mine in California sent me an email and she said, I bought this. For my kids, all of my kids have had interest in watercolor, so I bought this for my kids for Christmas, which is a pretty cool thing. And uh, and we think it's going to be neat. The world is going to be together. We, we're going to have uh, several thousand of us from around the world. You're going to be in breakout rooms with small groups where you're going to get to know people individually. We also do paint-alongs at night, and we have paint-along cocktail parties where we paint the one painting together all of us uh, around the world. It's fun to interact with artists around the world. We have instructors from from all the uh, all various different countries. Uh, we have people attending from 20 or 30 different countries. It's going to be phenomenal. It's the first time in the history of watercolor that something like this has ever been done. It's virtual. It's safe. You can watch it from your living room and uh, from your iPad, your, your phone, your TV set, whatever you want to watch on. And uh, you can get different levels of replays. Everybody gets replays, uh, but you can get different levels all the way up to the one year replay with the VIP package, which actually is the best deal because by the time you, you look at the, the replays, all the goodies you get in the, in the mail, plus you're getting $400 worth of videos that Streamline has produced. It's actually a very, very good opportunity for you. So check it out. It's watercolor live. I want to thank you guys. It, it's, um, it's amazing to me that we as a family have managed to stick it out for 250 days together. Uh, I, I had no intention of doing 250 days. I'll be just perfectly upfront about it. My intention was this will be a couple of weeks and we'll get through it for a couple of weeks. And so I got the crew together and, and you know, our business was struggling. We weren't sure if we were going to survive. You know, we make most of our living from things like the plein air convention and the figurative art convention, the publisher's invitational fall color week, our live events. And we had to cancel all of that this year. We were able finally to do fall color week for a, a fraction of the number of people uh, that we were able to do a few weeks ago. And uh, magazine advertising, you know, got really, really tough. And so uh, we just weren't sure we were going to survive. 
And we came up with these, uh, these virtual conferences in hopes that maybe somebody would attend, in hopes that we could um, bring back some of the people we had to lay off and get, get salaries back to normal. And they helped. And so I'm very grateful to you. And, you know, my, uh, I devoted my life to art uh, starting many years ago when I first got my first art lesson. My wife bought me an art lesson because I had gone to an art store and I was trying to figure out how to paint and I couldn't do it. I just, you know, I couldn't get what was in my head onto the paper and it just wasn't coming out. So I, she bought me an art lesson and the guy said, well, just express yourself, just throw the paint around. And I was completely disgusted because I wanted to learn how to paint actual things. And I got stuck in a taxi cab for an hour ride one day and the guy was an artist and he said, look, I can, I can tell you where you can learn. There's a guy up in West Palm Beach. I was in Florida at the time. He says, there was a guy in West Palm Beach by the name of Jack Jackson. He said, he will change your life. He's in the lineage of the great masters. I didn't even know what that meant at the time. So it took me a year to get up the courage to go visit this guy. And then uh, I sat in the parking lot and I got out of the car, into the car, out of the car. I just didn't have the courage because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe I could paint. And um, and so uh, I walked in and I looked around the room and I saw the beautiful paintings that were being done by the students in the class. They were doing copies of old masters. And, and I looked at it and I thought, I can't do that. There's no way I know how to do this. So I turned around and I walked out. And that was going to be the end of my art career. And this little man, Jack Jackson, walked up to me and he said, excuse me, can I help you? And I told him the story. And he said, just come in. Let me just show you one thing. And he got me engaged immediately and he gave me encouragement. And he said, if you just stick with this, you know, for a couple of years, I'll have you painting at, at a really good, good level. And so he got me engaged, he got me into the course and he changed my life. And there was a moment when I was on, I was on a business trip and I, you know, I've been publishing uh, most of my adult life now. And I publish a radio industry trade magazine. And I went to San Francisco on a business trip. And I walked into the Palace of the Fine Arts, which was a museum, and I stood in front of a Bouguereau painting, which I had never seen in person. It was the girl with the pitcher. And there's a lot of symbolism in Bouguereau's paintings, but I could see the layers of skin. I could see the, the, uh, the veins under the skin. And I thought, how could any human ever accomplish that level of proficiency as an artist? And uh, when I stood there in front of that painting, I teared up. And at that moment, I decided I was going to devote my life to art. And so I came back and I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I learned how to paint. It was tough to learn to paint, but I had the right teacher. And the thing that's important is when you're learning to paint, <clears throat> you're, you know, don't tell yourself you can't paint. Don't tell yourself that you, you don't have the talent. Don't tell yourself that you can't do it. You can do it, what he taught me is it's a process. If you can learn to type or you can learn to cook, if you can follow a recipe, you can learn anything, you can learn to paint. We have this mistaken belief in our world that it's about talent. Now, there are people who have talent. I don't want to uh, say there are not, but most of us don't have talent. Most of us have a learned skill. The talent comes later on top of that learned skill. And if you could just learn the process, just learn the process, it'll change your life. And so here we are many, many years later, 25 years later from that moment in the taxi cab, you know, my work is in art galleries. I've got two art magazines, I have four art newsletters. We have three video companies. We, uh, we have, you know, online and offline conferences and events for artists. And it's like Disneyland for artists. And all of that happened because one person had the, had the brilliance, that was my wife, one person had the brilliance to say, let me buy you an art lesson. And though it was the wrong art lesson at the time, it led me in the right direction. And then one teacher had the brilliance to pull me in and give me encouragement and say, you can do this. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can do this. You can learn to paint. And you can do it well. And you have plenty of time. Don't tell yourself you don't have time. If you're older, don't tell yourself you don't have time. If you're younger, you can do this. It's a process. And you can get pretty proficient 
But the nice thing is you're having fun while you're making mistakes. Mistakes are something we all do. We have to have mistakes to learn and grow. And I, I, we all still make mistakes. But it's that process that will really make you better. So I would encourage you. You know, we have lots of things you can attend. We have virtual conferences. We have art instruction videos. Today at 3 p.m., we have Kathy Anderson and discounts on that. Uh, we have so much for you. You can do this. You can learn this. I have free lessons at paintbynote.com. I wanted to give something free that was foundational. Yes, you'll have an opportunity to buy some other stuff if you want it, but you don't have to. Just get that foundational training. It's free at paintbynote.com, and you can learn this. And we have had literally thousands of people write emails to me uh, or, or to us and tell us that they went to Paint by Note and they couldn't, they didn't believe they could paint and they learned it through this simple process. Now, it's not necessarily the best way, but it's one of the best ways. And there are lots of best ways. There are lots of people out there that can help you and lots of people. If you can find a local art instructor in your community, if you can find somebody who's got online courses, Zoom courses, you can get videos that others have produced or we've produced, find something, but don't beat up on yourself. This is a time when you can learn. And, and we all have time because a lot of us are stuck at home. Don't use that time doom scrolling and getting your head in, in negativity. Instead, find something that you love, whether it's art, whether it's music, whether it's something else, find something that you love and take that time to master it. I realized I looked down on my phone the other day and it told me I had spent seven, seven hours on social media. I couldn't believe it. You know, it was Thanksgiving day or something. And I thought, you know, I could have taken those seven hours and <clears throat> watched an art instruction video and painted along, or I could have learned guitar or I could have done something else. And so make sure that you're keeping yourself positive. We don't know what this is going to put us through for the next month or two months or a few months. But we've got to keep our heads positive. You know, we have our families to think about. We have others to think about. And maybe they're being negative, but we don't have to be. We can be positive. We can be upbeat. We can stick with this. I'll stick with this. If it's another 250 days, if it's another 1,000 days, I'll stick with this because I want to be there for you guys. I, I want to say thank you. I want to say God bless you. You guys have been terrific. It's hard to believe that 250 days have passed. And the nice thing is that we know that we have this family, this international family, those of us together, I mean, people all over the world getting together, talking together, communicating together as artists on, on these broadcasts and on our 3 p.m. broadcast. So thank you, thank you, God bless you. Thanks for watching today. I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher, a fine art connoisseur, and Plein Air Magazine.